Welcome back. In this video, we're going to configure ICE to automate scans with Qualys Vulnerability Scanner. As one can see, I've already deployed the Qualys Virtual Scanning Appliance in my environment. However, if you wanted to deploy it yourself, you would need to sign into your Qualys account and navigate to Scans and then Appliances from the dashboard. We can see from the green indicator that my Catherine Security Demo appliance is connected to the cloud, but if I wanted to deploy a new appliance, I can choose New and Virtual Scanner Appliance to download it. The next thing we want to do is to make sure that CVSS scoring is enabled in the Qualys Vulnerability Reports, so we'll navigate to the Reports tab next, and then Setup. Under the Setup tab, we'll click on CVSS and ensure that the box is checked to enable CVSS scoring. As you can see, it is enabled. The next thing we'll want to do is to make sure that our user profile is set to Manager. On this pop-up, we'll click on User Role to make sure that my user role is set to Manager. As you can see, it allows access to the GUI and API. The next thing we want to do is ensure that our subnets are defined. To do so, we'll navigate to the Assets tab and then Host Assets. To define a new subnet, we'll click on New and then IP Tracked Hosts. I'm going to go ahead and put the IP range for my lab in here. After saving that, our subnets will be added to the global networks. Next, we'll navigate back to ICE to Administration and then Deployment to ensure that the Threat-Centric NAC service is turned on on our PSN. Scrolling down, we can see that we've ena already enabled Threat-Centric NAC service. Next, we'll want to add Qualys to ICE by navigating to Administration, Threat-Centric NAC. We're going to click Add to add a new instance, and on the drop-down vendor menu, we'll choose Qualys and give it an instance name. After we've completed that, we'll click Save, and it usually takes a few moments for the instance to become configurable, so we'll just refresh that a couple times until it states that we can configure it. Okay, now it looks like the instance is initializing. And after a refresh, it's ready to configure, so we'll click on that to start the configuration. Under the field for REST API Host, we'll populate that with the Qualys URL. We don't need HTTPS, so I'm just going to go ahead and remove that right now. Next, we would enter our Qualys credentials under Username and Password. If you have a web proxy in your environment, this is where you would configure it to make sure that the connector can reach the Qualys cloud. Now that we're done configuring this screen, I'm going to go ahead and click Next to move to the next configuration screen. Oops, it looks like I put the wrong proxy port, so let me go ahead and reconfigure that. In this next screen, we'll choose the Qualys Scanner that we'll pin to this PSN. In my lab, it's Catherine-Security-Demo, so I'm going to go ahead and pick it for both fields and then click Next. Under the Advanced Settings, Option Profile is usually the thing that you're configuring here. This is the op scanning options that you're choosing with this scanner. In my case, I'm using Security Demo Lab Scan. While we're here, I'm going to tune some of the settings down for the purposes of this demo so we can get some scans showing and results a little faster. In production, you probably wouldn't change this since a lot of these settings help with rate limiting requests. After that's done, we'll click Next and Finish to finish our configuration. We can now see that the Qualys scanner is active and connected. Let's navigate to Policy and Policy Sets to see what our policy sets look like for wired access.
As you can see, I have an authorization rule for admin, so I'm going to go ahead and change the authorization result to include automated scanning. Navigate to Policy Elements, Results, and Authorization Profiles. My authorization result was Admin Access, so I'm going to scroll down to Assess Vulnerabilities here. For assess vulnerabilities, I'm going to check the box and the adapter instance will be Qualys and I'll set it to one hour just for the purposes of this demo and to assess periodically during that every hour. Then I'll click Save. Navigating back to our policy sets, I'm going to go back into our wired policy set and to global exceptions. Another thing we can do is we can create a global exception based on a greater than CVSS score. So I'm going to go ahead and name this vulnerable endpoints, and base it off of a CVSS score of greater than 8. With this policy, I'm going to say that if their CVSS score is greater than 8 based on what Qualys provided us, then I'm going to make sure that they can't access our internal hosts and just give it internet access only. So maybe work isn't disrupt disrupted, but they can still not potentially make our internal network vulnerable. Then I'll go ahead and click Save. So now that I've finished configuring that, I'm going to authenticate some hosts to my network, which should kick off some scans automatically. I'm going to just log into this first host under my admin account. Then I'm going to connect to my other Windows 7 endpoint and sign in as a different username and password. I'm going to make sure that the Windows firewall is turned off on both of my endpoints, just so it detects more. So bear with me for a moment while I go ahead and configure this. Now that I've finished that, I'm going to navigate over to my Radius Live Logs and just make sure that those authentications have taken place. Yep, looks like both hosts have logged in and ICE has seen it. So I'm going to go ahead and swing over to my Qualys dashboard and see if any of the scans have kicked off yet. So I'll navigate over to Scans and Scans again. Looks like one of the scans have already taken place. So let's go ahead and view that report. Okay, scrolling down through this report, um, there's a couple vulnerabilities, but nothing rated too high. Let's go back to the ICE dashboard, and we now see that there's one total vulnerable endpoint. And that would be the endpoint that the scan is already completed on. So let's go over to Context Visibility, Endpoints, and we should be able to see it under Vulnerable Endpoints. Oops. <laughs> All right, and we'll see, we see the actual vulnerabilities, and if we d click on More Vulnerabilities, we'll see the exact uh, CVSS scores and what's being alerted on. So let's pull up our Qualys dashboard again, and we see the other scan taking place. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video for a moment and wait for that to complete. And we're back. As you can see, the other ICE scan has completed for the other endpoint. And if we go to vulnerabilities, um, 
You see here, it wasn't vulnerable, but um, one view, other view I forgot to show you the last time we were looking at this, um, just going back to vulnerability really quick, um, it, not by most endpoints, but CVSS score, you can see all the CVSS, CVSSs that were alerted on the last endpoint. With that, I'm going to go ahead and end this video, and thank you so much for watching.